Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about Canva and Pinterest. I'm going to show you how you can create amazing Pinterest pins using uh, Canva graphic tool. So this is an amazing uh, tool that you can use for anything really, like from your branding or for your photos or even designing uh, different stuff really. So I'm going to show you today how you can attract traffic to your blog or your website or even to your Pinterest account using uh, this Canva. Um, so let's get onto the computer and I'll show you how to do that. But before I do that, I'll ask you to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. I post two videos a week, one for personal development and one for health and nutrition. So let's get into the computer. Okay, guys, I'm on the uh, homepage of Canva.com. Uh, so obviously, the first thing uh, you need to do is to um, register a free account. Uh, Canva has got two uh, types of accounts, a free account and a pro account, like a business account. Uh, so you just need to register for free. It's fine, it's good, and uh, you can uh, enjoy uh, using it uh, very well. But if you want to have so many options that are on the pro version, then you can... Uh, sign up for a 30-day uh, trial with the Canva Pro and I'll leave the link below if you want to uh, sign up for that uh, but otherwise as I said you sign up for um, canva.com account and uh, once you've done that you are on this home page and uh, on this home page you've got um, templates there different templates that you uh, you will see and what is featured and how you can learn different things on Canva as well. And if you look at here or down here, you can see all different uh, templates according to uh, each niche or each uh, category, like you've got Facebook uh, post, uh, YouTube thumbnail there, you've got the logos as well. Or if you like animation, you can also uh, use um, uh, the animation uh, section uh, but for this tutorial we'll just come up here design anything and then under there you just type what you want or you can come here and say create design then you select there um, the other way is uh, this one I'll just uh, come here and select Pinterest or type Pinterest it will bring the option for which uh, Pinterest you want so we'll just go to Pinterest pin and then one thing you should uh, uh, just remember is that Pinterest um, um, has got a specific um, um ratio that they want aspect ratio that they want for their pin for the pins that you put otherwise your pins will be cut they won't be in full so they want a pin that is uh got an aspect ratio of two to three or or one to two it still works as well or in other words 1000 to 1500 pixels so that will work really well for uh for 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 your pins they will be really really good and then these are the pins pin pressed pins that we have here as you can see uh, the ones that canva provides and then you know you can use them if you like uh, but uh, one thing i should just mention is that um, um, i wouldn't advise you obviously if you you don't have time you can use them they are really good as well uh, but i wouldn't advise that why because um if you use let's say one of them then once you've uh, put your pin uh, on on your pinterest account uh, the Pinterest um, you know, search engine, the algorithm for the uh, search engine is going to uh, get your pin to the other pins that were created by the same template. And that uh, end up kind of lowering your exposure much because there's so many with the similar uh, design that uh, you, um, you've, uh, you have for your pin. So it's better to create your own pin uh, that will be unique in, in, in its way. And in that way, the algorithm for uh, Pinterest will try and market you even more and the uh, other thing is that the pin just pins are uh, very limiting as well uh, you know let's say um, let's uh, use this one let's say uh, we use this one and uh, as an example um, if you you try to put some uh, information that you want you might be limited uh, let's say you want to type something here and uh, um, holiday in uh, uh, healthy post holiday recipes uh, or at home so you end up uh, example is like you you might end up extending uh, to a different section which then uh, that limits you to do what you do so even if you try to you run out of space because uh, you know pinterest is limiting you to what uh, they've designed themselves what they want uh, but um if you um 
have your own you can design your own way how you want it so i will uh go back to the main uh home page then we can uh start from there so one thing uh you need to do um after you get into pinterest, pinterest pins you go to the blank uh, canvas so this will give you room now for for you to to start working on so this is the one that uh, uh 1000 by 1500 uh, uh, pixels that uh Pinterest one. So we can use that. It's really good. We can use that. So the first thing that we want to do, um, we just click onto the, the canvas and you'll see the, there's a color background there that gives you the option to change the colors. But we want to create, um, an image, uh, the background image that we can use for our pin. Uh, so let's select our, um, <clears throat> Uh, what you can do because uh, these are templates we want to play in templates that we're going to design so you come to the uploads or to the photos if you've got a, um, a photo that you want to use for your pin you can come to your uploads and then your photo will be somewhere on the uploads there uh, you can lo locate whatever uh, uh, photo that you want but if you want to use the photos that are the stock photos that are in here you'll find that Pinterest has got so many options that you can use and when you hover over a photo it will tell you whether it's, it's pro or oh, it's, it's a free photo thing because I've selected uh, uh, my it's a, mine is a business account. So if I go to free here, it will show you all this. It will say it will say free, 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 free. So you can use any of those free photos that you um, Pinterest um, uh, provided for you. So we'll go there and then we will select uh, any photo. Uh, let's see um, uh, recipe. Let's see okay um all right i will uh choose uh okay let me okay let's get some ideas of the dessert recipes anything that we think will be nice and attractive for pinterest so we can uh, uh People who visit Pinterest are very visual, so they want to see something that is really, really attractive. Um, let us, uh, let's see. Oh, let's, um, uh, let's try this one. This one is really, so when you click on it, it comes on, onto your canvas. So then you can uh, um, drag it up, you click and drag. So that's the good thing about Canva, it's drag and drop. So you click on it and drag it and drop it there. Um, then we, uh, you know, we pull it so you can cover the whole um, uh, the whole page. So we just pull it uh, to where you want. Uh, um, let's pull it like this, and then we can pull it down further down uh, so you can cover the the whole background. So there you go. Then if you double click on it, you can locate um, um, the picture where you want it. So let's. I think that's pretty good. We can leave that there. We've got the strawberry and you can see that in there. So now we want the wedding to put the wedding in and we don't want the wedding to be uh, covered by or to disappear into the photo. So what we need to do, uh, we go to the elements, uh, elements on the sides there. Then we look for shapes. If you, uh, there's shapes there, you can go through them there or just go get the whole um, folder so you can get the um, all the, you know, the elements that you want. So we what we need is a, a it's a square one that we can use. Can use this one or that one. Uh, maybe we can use this one. So yes, as you can see, it comes to your uh, um, to your canvas. So you can either increase it like that, or you can increase it like that. Uh, I think I'll take the other one. Let me see. I'll take um, I'll take this one. I'll take this one, yes. So this one, this one has got different colors. So if you want to increase it, as I say, you do that. Uh, you do that as well, just to give you a bit more room if you are typing. Okay, then we can bring it up, up a little bit there. Then what we need is to type, we want to type, we can change the color. So if you click on it there, so you see it's highlighted. So these are the colors that are within the, the, the canvas. So if we go there and we change maybe to white, gives you a white background or in ground. Um, and then we leave the blue as it is there, or maybe change the blue a little bit. Um, just playing so you can, you can have a look and see. Uh, yeah, maybe that, that works. And <laughs> because uh, blue is my is my um, my brand color, so I always have something bluish in my uh, designs. Anyway, so 
so say canvas uh, click and uh, you know drag and drop you click uh, drag and then drop so when you want to locate it in the middle you see the purple line does come up so it show you that it's right in the middle so we'll leave it there and then uh, we want to type something now um, so let's go to text then uh, you, you've got a uh, different um, designs or types of uh, fonts and text that you were provided there but the important thing is to design your, your for yourself so i like to go uh, use the plain one so if you um click on that it comes uh to uh to canvas as you can see there so we can then um, um type something um uh, let's say 10 amazing i'll just make it cup cups uh, 10 amazing um, okay we'll increase the font a little bit um what can we put uh da, 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 let's see no <laughs> it's, it's, it's too big uh we if we eat it fine then um i'll just take it i want to put it up there so because it's in white so i'm going to have to change uh, the, the color because it's on, on, on top of white so it's already uh, selected so i'll just go to the letter uh, there i see the text color is coming so i'm going to put it in black then it comes there you go um then i want to uh, i might change if we want to change the font uh let me see what font i can use there um different font you can use this one no not that one uh, that's okay uh, I think there's another uh, one I think that's probably yeah let's use this one yeah I'll use that one at the top and then I need another text um, again so on this text I'm gonna type what 10 what uh, 10 amazing um, <coughs> uh, dessert that's what we're doing here. <laughs> These uh, recipes. An amazing, I'll just say, family. Okay, so we can bring it up here also. It's in um, white, obviously, we need to go to black. And then we'll change the font uh, there. The font we can use uh, this one. All righty. Yeah, I'll use and then I'll go, I want this one to be big. Hmm, it's so big. So I might have to increase. Okay, that's fine. It's good that we, this is happening because uh, because we can learn so, something. So we'll just increase the, the size of our layer. And then, then we can bring it in the middle. Yeah, right in the middle. Then we go in there and then kind of spread it out a little bit. Let's see if we this is any two. Yeah, I want something like this. I might have to um, open up a little bit of. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's. That's it. Alrighty, so there we go. And then one last thing, or oh, 10 amazing um, dessert recipes. Um, uh, what can we type? We can type something. I'll just get to this smaller uh, text heading there and type um, um, Okay. We here to see more. Um, I'll turn black, and then I'll 
24 then I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit there 28 let's see okay so there you go then you can put your logo or your your uh, your domain so to protect your photo as well so always uh, make sure you protect your photo with uh, with your logo or your your domain otherwise people will steal it so you go uh, text to the text again there the smaller one this time then you type your domain uh, uh, www dot, um, your domain dot com uh, we increase the font a little bit so it can be seen and then you can change the text as well so the font if you like um, there we go then you can bring it uh, it doesn't matter whatever you feel like i think it's probably better here for me i like it there then we have to change the color there and so that it can be visible so um i'll maybe change a different um yeah so there you go um so this is your oh your pin i'll make sure it's in the middle there you go yeah, it's in the middle now uh, so this is the first pin that you can create uh, as you can see then you can um, uh, do the same or uh, to do another uh, pin uh, without uh, having to go back to everything again so you go to add um, or duplicate you d duplicate here and you see the same pin it's it's up there so what you do is just click at the, on the background and then quickly go to your photos and then change into something else uh, to the pin that you want um, change to um, let's see oh, so you just take uh, the background out and then put um, the background photo that you want um, Uh, if it's you are doing travel, you can uh, find travel places that you want. Uh, yeah, something uh, just to make it as a background. Do the same. There you go. Then what you can do, I want to show you something here. What you can do, 10 amazing places. Um, do the uh, travel uh, the um, one you didn't catch. Mm. Our destination to visit. There we go, you can bring it. Uh, we can bring this one a little bit down. There you go, that looks good. And then there you go. So we've done another uh, pin just quickly by doing that. So that's why you, once you have the, um, the template, it's easy to just uh, change uh, and just carry on with the rest. So you can change the color, that blue color there if you like and make it a little bit um, uh, different. And then you can go there to the new color and just change that background a little bit to make it fit with what you are trying to do. And And there you go. Uh, the other thing that you can do um, this uh, layer, you can uh, hover off uh, here to transparency and then try if you want to see the, the, the head of that lady and the hair. So you can still do that. You can make it like this or just a little bit so you can see more. So that's the amazing thing about it. So you can uh, uh, just play around and get it to the perfect uh, position that you want. So this it looks good. Just a second pin that we've done so quickly and then you, you click and create another one so it is just that easy to create uh, your amazing pins so now when you put in to your pinterest account um the search engine from pinterest will see this as a unique uh, pin and then it will be able to get more traffic to you because it's a unique pin so they want people to be creative and you know with different um 
ideas. So that helps in, in a lot. Uh, of um, it, it, it helps quite a lot actually uh, to do that. So um, there you go, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions on what you can do more, uh, so I will have more videos on. Uh, on how you can create your own uh, designs within Canva. But otherwise, thank you for tuning in. And uh, if you've got uh, any other questions, uh, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and, and uh, click that uh, notification bell so that you can get notified uh, uh, when I post a video. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. There you go, guys. Uh, that's how you can uh, create your own amazing design to uh, attract so much traffic. And as you know, Pinterest likes to uh, to promote new new designs. Uh, so if you're creating your own unique design, you know Pinterest will put you up there on their uh, their algorithm will put you up there. So if you've got any questions, guys, just let me know. And uh, again, thanks for being here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. And again, I post two videos a week, one video for personal development and one video for health and nutrition. Okay, guys, uh, once again, uh, thank you and have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.